Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Tech Corrida here with another video. In this video, I will show you how you can fix the error that you can't enter network credentials or an error occurs when you try to enter them. So let's get started. So the first solution I recommend you to do, click on the Windows key, then search for control panel, then open control panel. After that, you will go to the view tab view by tab here then change the option to category after that click on the network and internet option click on network and sharing center and then you will click on change advanced sharing settings after that we click you will expand the option all network here then you will find password protected protected sharing so what you are going to do is to turn off this option here after that we start your computer and try to enter your network credentials and hope you will fix that another solution you can try click on the windows key then search for local security policy and then open it <clears throat> expand local policies and then you will go to the security option here then you will find the option account limit local account use of blank password to console login only double click on it then make sure that option enabled is selected then click on okay then click on apply then okay after that restart your computer and check if the problem is fixed another solution you can try click on the windows key plus i to open setting then go to the network and internet option on the left side you will click on advanced network settings then click on network reset so this will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall after other networking software afterwards such as vpn client software or virtual switches so you will click on the reset now button here then are you sure you want so make sure your credential not network credential are written down so this process will remove all the informations that are saved on your computer so click on yes after that restart your computer and check if the problem is fixed